secret. Shh, the postman's been. The postman's been and he's brought presents. So what has he brought us? Oh, uh, that's not right. <laughs> uh, well, this was supposed to be a lug nut review, but I'm not quite sure if, um, oh, let, let's try that again, shall we? Look at that! Oh, that's the lug nut that we've been talking about. Oh, I like so. At the moment, he's on a stand because he's he's so big. He's very difficult to fit within the screen size. Um, so if I take the stand away and I move the camera, so if I stand that there, just to give you an idea of how big this bad boy is, who did we do the other day? Jazz. Let's put Sergeant Jazz next to it and pick you up and show you how filthy and cluttered with toys my desk is. That's how big he is. Look, he's like enormous. Let's see the other toys that sat on my desk quickly. Just so you, I know you're all interested. Leader Starscream, um, Cliff Jumper, uh, Thunderwing. Oh, an old blank then. Um, Dirge and there's stuff and stuff and stuff and mindset and and more stuff and stuff and and oh just just new in off the press oh look Daniel Bartz um <laughs> I've digressed a little uh, so let's get Sergeant Jazz out the way um, oh let's go into sensible mode let's go into sensible mode for a and relax. <laughs> Lug nut, I love him, it's called La Six Na Seven. So I'm gonna call him La Six Na Seven from now on. Uh, he's got the logos on the wings, um, he's got these kind of jet things on the wings, which are cool. He's got these jet things, which are incredibly cool. Um, more on there, look. And let's go in and look at the nose detail a little bit. So he's still got the enormous great big toothy pegs on the front. His big toothy pegs, the guns go up and down. You've got the lovely translucent red on the front of the bombshell. Very, very similar to the original one. He's kind of half of a little bit, it's a hodgepodge of everything. He's like a, a really old Vietnam kind of era, late 60s uh, cargo plane, but with the jets of a, of a sort of more modern. A10 tank buster or something like that. He's huge. Uh, what he does have on the bank is um, a lift up gun, and on that is your shooty shooty bang bang. This is a very strange place for a shooty shooty bang bang, but we shall, we shall talk about that in a moment. Um, he's very, very nice. Underneath, all sorts of uh, sorts of kibble, and they're not kibble at the same time. Uh, they're the feet, for example, but it does it crosses over nicely. It's just being detail underneath. And if you really want to shoot things that are behind you, um, his gun, it, the weapon does come out like that. But it's very difficult to sort of do anything with it. It's a bit strange, but it's fine. Um, so <laughs> on a Transformers review, what do we need to do? We need to transform it. Ah, so <clears throat> first. <coughs> All the silly voices making me cough. Uh, first thing we're going to do is lift the camera up a little bit. Well, quite a lot actually with this one because of the size of him. He's large. Uh, first thing we're going to do is take all of that underneath and literally put your fingers in the middle and pull. And we're going to extend out the whole middle section as much as we can like that. Okay, and then you're going to just pull apart and split the legs, and then you're going to okay, take that middle section, fold it round, pop it into place, take the foot, lift it out, lift the toe up, lift the other part back, and that's going to give you a foot. So let's do that on the same on the other side. So click that back so it fits, take the toe section, fingers. Feet, sorry, left it forward, toe, toes, there we go. Now we need to turn these round the other way, turn that one round the other way, turn the waist articulation round in the middle. Okay, nearly there. Uh, and then we need to lift the legs up. This is dead clever, this bit, because as it comes, look, so let's just show you what we're talking about. At the moment, we've got 
really straight. Ugh. Can you see how his hips are really narrow and they're not really working? Because if we turn, <laughs> in fact, let's turn it around that way as it's supposed to be, because it's got the detail on the front. So you've got these horrible big metal screwy things on the front here, yeah? So what we're going to do is up, turn, listen, oh, ratchets, uh, and then drop it back down. And can you see that gives it a much more hippie stock look as opposed to a big spindly wiry look? So do the same thing over there, and then with the with the legs, you, as you can see, when you saw the original pictures of this thing come out, it looked really tall and wiry. So when he stood up, he's looking a bit like that, and that's not very good. But if you take that and push all of that and sort of concertina it in, then we'll do the same on the other side. Keep hitting the camera because the wing's too big. So if you push all of that in, look, and then get all the legs put together, he's. It, the leg sections now look an awful lot more stocky and beefcake and when you see the top half of him you'll see why so speaking of which let's do that uh, I'm going to these wings will fold like that or like that depending on what you want to do and there's a very handy reason why which is just to get them out of the way of everything else when you're trying to review a toy uh, so you take the front okay this folds down at the back then you spin the back section to get it out of the way, otherwise these fins hit the back of his heels, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. And then you're just going to take that and flap that down, which gives you a bit more space. Okay. Then we're going to lift the cockpit. So just put your thumb under there, lift the cockpit back. And then what we're going to, and this is, uh, I'm not sure if this is the actual way the instructions are going to say to do it or what, but I've been grabbing the, the hips, okay, the, the body section, and just got to wiggle it up like that which brings it up on a hinge and then the hinge will actually lift and rotate all the way forward and peg back in because you've got slots and holes look can you see those two little slots in there slot hole slot hole slot hole brilliant okay put the cockpit all the way back so it folds like that and then and this is you've got to find it you've got to hold it in the right place but when you push whoop, meh, uh, when you push this forwards, it's going to do this. Oh, recognise that from anything. So as you push it all forwards, it releases the chest mechanism, including the head, which is beautiful. His mouth goes up and down. Look. So if we do, try and get a bit more light. So if you hold his eye there, look, the mouth will go. Talk it, talk it. So there, that mouth works. Uh, 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 uh. So what we got to do now is this big red bit at the back is slidey, okay? So as you push it, as I push that, you can see the head is on that kind of mechanism. So you need to push that and then really push on that and it will slide one inside the other and give you a lot less of the kibble sticking out the side, okay? Um, because you've now done that, these front sections are really going to switch to the side to give you loads of space, plus the, the wings up like that, these bits under here sit under there quite snugly. So what you need now need to do is take that purple midsection, the waist, which is another reason why you look too tall, okay, and bring it forwards like so, can't do anything because of all legs are in there, bring that forwards like that, like that. So one meets the other, press that down, you hear that nice clip, that means it's in. So that gives you Lugnut's front end look. He is beefcake. So let's just stand him up a little bit, get his feet in the right positions. So we are nearly, nearly there. Let's pick it the camera up quickly. Look how big he is. So we can see we're almost, almost there. All we've got to do adjust some wings okay so let's do that camera back down so this bit is actually it, it, it's extraordinarily well designed and it's really amazingly fiddly and a really easy way to do all you've got to do is take the arm move the arm down which gives us so you can see the gimmick in there if you push this purple button underneath he's got the punch of kill everything which will work in both modes, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this little flap at the back, fold that under, 
I take the whole wing section and turn it up the other way, which gives his arm some width this way so he doesn't look too skinny. Okay, we're going to fold the tip of the wing up. I'm going to move that back up in place because it's not supposed to be there all the time. But we're going to take the fisty, because you can see the fingers there, and spin it like that. Okay, which then puts his fingers on the end of his hand. Move the thumb out, and then you've got articulation on the elbow joint, because he'll do that. So when you think that they have one solid wing section, you've now got a shoulder, you've got an elbow, you've got a punch of kill everything, all out of one solid wing. I think that's a rather clever engineering. And at no point do you sit there and have to struggle and swear with it. It's all very fluid in articulation. So let's do that quicker on the other side, shall we? So we go arm. Okay, so we're going to flap it round, turn it over, bend the elbow, move that back up again, take the end piece, click it into place, and lift the fingers up, spin that, and now we've got a hand. Mega! And we have Transformers, reveal the shield, lug nut. Um, I can't, I just can't tell you how much I absolutely adore this figure. He's really, really good, but his size is incredible. He doesn't look that big in the box, but you get when you get him in the plane mode, he's absolutely huge. So articulation, fingers move independently of each other, thumb moves on its own, or mostly part of the transformation. Um, you've got the punch of kill everything, which is brilliant. The chest is beautiful because this is all same red transparent stuff. The eye does have light piping. There is a bar on the back, look, for the light piping to work. But I've yet to actually get it to work. Let's let's put it to the test. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to pick you up for a moment. No, that even got, even got jazz glowing. But this one, bit of a fail. But I mean, if, this, if that's the only drawback for this figure, then I should be more than happy. Um, He's just amazing. Let's do a 360. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, and took all the others with him. So, uh, on behalf of all the cool stuff, I'm now going to do some poses. Oh yes, and if there was one down floor with this figure, it's this. Um, he does have a shooting missile, which I believe I've already shown you, but it's in his bum. <laughs> so what he's going to shoot with that, I don't know. It just uh, 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 he 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 can only he can only shoot behind him. This has been SMS number one saying, "Knock knock."